In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add videos to your display pages. For that, I'll start with a blank page. And select Edit. And under the designer, you see on the left-hand side that I have three options to add video. That's either through the basic video element or by using the YouTube or Vimeo apps. I'll click on the YouTube app for starters. And I first of all, I need to fill out the web address of the video. And for that, I'll switch to YouTube. And I go to the page of the video that I selected. And on top, I'll select the address, select copy, paste. And if I press the play button right there, you'll see that it starts playing. Cool. Now there's some other options here on the left-hand side. I can select uh, a uh, I can choose not to have the video start from the very beginning, but for example, from the 10 second mark or 40 second mark. Let's say we pick the 10 second mark. And the other option to set is uh, its behavior when a page is shown. Um, in a playlist, uh, when playing back your playlist, obviously the playlist is repeatedly showing uh, this page with a video on it. And I can choose to either have uh, the video continue playing from where it stopped the last time, or I can choose to have it play from the beginning every time the page is shown. In this case, I'll select play from beginning. Um, and last but not least, I can set the volume if I like. I'll leave it to zero right here. But you can add sound to your video as well. Really nice. We can do that for Vimeo as well. I'll show you. It works exactly the same. Add a Vimeo app. I need the web address of the Vimeo video. I have the Vimeo page right here. Select the address, select copy, paste. Let's see if it works. Yep, it works, cool. I'll leave that on continue playing so you can see the difference. Go back to the dashboard and add these two to a playlist. Set them to 10 seconds and let's see what it does. And it starts with the YouTube video right here. And in the background, it'll be loading the next video which means, by the way, that sometimes it can take longer for the next video to start playing than the 10 seconds that you've set. That's only during the first, maybe even the second round run of a playlist, but mainly during the first run, because once the videos have been loaded, they are buffered, and so you, they won't have to be loading in the background anymore, and everything should be playing smoothly after that. And as you can see, this video picks up from the point it stopped last time, whereas the YouTube video starts from that 10 second mark every time again. Let's wait for the Vimeo video again. Yep, there you go. So that's how that works. Um, there's one other option. As we said earlier, we can add our own video, click edit. And I click on the video element, and this works exactly the same as images. What you can do is you can build up your own video catalog by uploading files. If you do that, um, the system will need to convert your file into something that can be shown, uh, can be played in the display uh, channels. So that will take generally take a minute or two, so you have to wait for that. I've uploaded one already right here, so I'll select that one. You can even use that as a background, for example. Let's see how it looks. Really nice. And I could, could, for example, add a box like that, some rounded corners, a bit of transparency, add some text. Love the universe. Okay, go back again, and let's see how that works. 
obviously these kinds of videos can be really nice in a background slide to have a more dynamic um, number of pages and refer to the uh, instruction video about background slides for that and there you go it works just fine Cool, so that's the introduction into videos and how that works. I hope that was clear. Should you have any questions, just let us know on our website or via email. Um, I'd say good luck with it. Enjoy.